Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Satyajit Patnaik. I am a urologist, andrologist and a transplant surgeon and uh, I run my hospital which is Dr. Patnaik's hospital which specializes in urology and andrology. Uh, so we are established in Bandra West, Mumbai and uh, this center actually started 25 years back and uh, we are actually the pioneers when it comes to kidney stone treatment especially kidney stone treatment without surgery okay so today we will discuss about kidney stones uh, kidney stones are nothing but they are extremely hard mineral deposits which form in concentrated urine for a person to develop a kidney stone there are multiple factors which play a role number one is genetic predisposition if the person is genetically predisposed to form a kidney stone then there are likely chances that some lifestyle events which contribute may play a significant role for him to develop a kidney stone secondly uh, certain lifestyle habits like eating junk food consumption of certain beverages as well as not drinking enough water and working in extremely hot environments as one of one more cause of development of kidney stones Another common cause of formation of kidney stones, especially in the pediatric population or in children is congenital anomalies. So if in case a person has got certain anomalies in the urogenital tract, which is some obstruction or some anomalous position of the kidneys like a pelvic kidney or a horseshoe kidney, that person is more liable to form kidney stones. So today we will discuss about the different types of kidney stones which form in the kidney. We will also talk about what complications can a kidney stone produce and we will also see the different methods of dealing with kidney stones starting from surgery to endoscopy and also kidney stone treatment without surgery. So this is the human kidney uh, which basically acts as a filter for blood. So it filters out blood and it throws out the waste products as urine. So as you can see, this is the kidney. This is the renal artery which brings oxygenated blood and this is the renal vein and this is the ureter or the urine pipe which carries the urine down from the kidney. So if in case uh, there is some calcification in the fleshy part of the kidney where the blood vessels are present, then it is called as a renal cortical calcification as this is the renal cortex. Okay, If in case there is some calcium deposition or some concretion forming in this part of the kidney which is the pelvic alicial system, then it is of clinical significance to us as it is a kidney stone. So if in case a kidney stone is sitting in one of the calices which is either in the upper calyx, in the middle part or in the lower calicial system, it may cause dull aching pain in the flank or it may produce some symptoms such as bleeding and urine. If in case a stone is stuck in this part of the kidney, which is the renal pelvis, it can basically produce severe pain, which we, cause a, which we call a renal colic. If in case a small stone slips down this passage and it gets stuck in this pipe, which we call as the ureter, then it can cause severe pain, which radiates from the back to the groin, which we call as the ureteric colic, which is often accompanied by difficulty in passing urine or pain in passing urine. The patient also complains of hematuria, which is passing blood in urine and sometimes it may also be accompanied by vomiting. So now coming to bigger kidney stones, which are about 2.5 to 3 centimeters, we have this procedure called percutaneous nephrolithotomy, where we insert a small telescope inside the kidney and we break these kidney stones with laser and we take it out. For the stones which are stuck in the ureter or the pipe which brings down urine from the kidney, we have this procedure called semi-flexible ureteroscopy wherein we pass a miniature telescope through the natural passage up into the ureter and we see the stone, we fragment it with laser and we remove the fragments. For stones which are stuck in the upper ureter or which are present in the kidney, we have another procedure called flexible ureteroscopy or RIRS, which is retrograde intrarenal surgery, wherein we pass a flexible telescope 
through the natural passage into the urine pipe or the ureter and into the kidney where stones can be directly seen they can be broken with laser and all the fragments can be removed okay so my dear friends let us now talk about kidney stone treatment without surgery yes kidney stones can be treated without surgery which is small kidney stones up to 2 to 2.5 centimeters can be treated without surgery and the procedure to treat them is ESWL or extracorporeal sound wave lithotripsy so this machine which we see here is actually a extracorporeal shock wave lithotriptor which treats the kidney stones by sending electromagnetic waves to the kidney stones which fragments them into fine dust like particles which are then passed in the down in urine okay this treatment is a daycare procedure there is no need for admission the patient can go home the same day and since it is totally painless there is no need of anesthesia so here are some tips for healthy kidneys tip number one is to hydrate yourself well always stay well hydrated the amount of water which you drink should be approximately one glass per hour the second tip is to eat healthy try to avoid junk food and try to avoid too much animal protein if you are diabetic or you have high BP then it is always wise enough to get a renal profile or a renal function test done regularly if in case you have family history of family members suffering from kidney stones or having chronic kidney disease or or having to undergo dialysis then please get yourself checked exercise regularly don't ignore kidney pain if in case you have pain in your flank or in your back region then immediately undergo some investigations my dear friends once a stone former is always a stone former if in case you have a past history of forming kidney stones make sure that you undergo an ultrasound examination once a year and you should not ignore some warning signs of kidney failure for example when you wake up in the morning if in case you have puffiness around the eyes or you have a puffy face or you have swelling in the legs or you are passing blood in urine or you are passing high colored urine or concentrated urine then please visit your physician or a local urologist so i hope this video was informative to you and by the end of this video you have much more knowledge about your kidneys and how to protect your kidneys as well as how to watch out for some warning signs if in case you want some expert advice or you want to consult me you can consult me via library.com thank you very much